Hello everyone, welcome to our exciting exploration into the world of plants. Today we're going to take a fascinating journey through the life cycle of a plant. From the tiny beginnings as a seed all the way to a full-grown plant, we'll discover each step of the process. So get ready to see how a little seed transforms into something wonderful that can start the cycle all over again. Every adventure begins with a small step, and in the world of plants, that small step is the seed. Inside each seed is a tiny dormant plant just waiting for the right conditions to awaken. This stage is full of potential as the seed holds everything needed to grow into a complex plant. When a seed finds itself in the right environment, surrounded by soil, moisture, and warmth, it starts to germinate. Germination is the very first chapter in the life of a plant. During germination, the seed absorbs water, which causes it to swell and break open its outer shell. Then something amazing happens. A tiny root begins to push downward into the soil to anchor the plant, and a small sprout shoots upward toward the light. This sprout will become the stem and eventually leaves. As the plant continues to absorb nutrients from the soil and energy from the sun, it grows bigger and stronger. It transitions from a fragile sprout into a sturdy seedling. This young plant will develop more leaves, which help it capture more sunlight to make food through photosynthesis, a process that turns light energy into chemical energy the plant can use. Over time, the seedling matures into an adult plant ready to reproduce. This mature plant will produce flowers, which are not only beautiful but also vital for reproduction. Flowers attract bees, butterflies, and other pollinators. These creatures visit the flowers to sip nectar, and while they do, pollen from the flowers sticks to their bodies. When they move to the next flower, they transfer the pollen, which fertilizes the flower and allows it to produce fruits or vegetables. Inside these fruits or veggies are new seeds. And that brings us back to where we started, with seeds. These new seeds can fall to the ground, be carried away by animals, or even get planted by us. And each one has the potential to grow into a new plant. That's the magic of the plant life cycle. Every part of the cycle is crucial, from the seed to the sprout to the flowering and back to seeds again. Isn't it amazing how a tiny seed contains the blueprint for a whole plant and how it can start the cycle all over again? Now you understand how the delicious fruits and veggies in your garden begin their life. Next time you eat an apple or a carrot, think about the incredible journey it took for that plant to grow from a small seed into tasty food. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the life cycle of plants. Keep exploring and maybe even try growing some plants of your own. Until next time, keep nurturing your curiosity about the natural world. Happy gardening and see you in our next adventure.